So in this video, I wanted to go through two different ways of solving logarithms. I've written a few prompts here in case you wanted to do the questions yourselves. But this is a three mark question and this is a four mark one. So starting with this one, what we notice is that x is a power. What we want to do is bring down x as a coefficient, otherwise you can't solve the equation. And so that's why we use this first rule here, where we can bring down the power as a coefficient. It's one of the log rules. But in order to do that, there needs to be a log applied to the left hand side. And what we do is we choose the base of the log to match this number here. So we're going to apply log base 3 to both sides of the equation to start with. So log base 3 of everything that's on the left hand side is equal to log base 3 of everything that's on the right hand side. Now that it's in this logarithm format, we can bring down the power as a coefficient. And we can say x log base 3 of 3 equals x log base, sorry, log base 3 of 13. Now, why did we choose the base to match this number here? Well, that's because of this fact here. Whenever the base matches the number inside the logarithm, that's just equal to 1. The reason for that is because a to the power of, if we take the right hand side, 1 is equal to what's inside of the logarithm. That's a fact. So we can say log base 3 of 3 is 1. So x multiplied by 1 is log base 13. Log base 3 of 13, that is. And you can just put that into your calculator to get the answer to three significant figures. So I'm just going to quickly do that and that will give you an answer of 2.33. Great. Now moving on, in this question, again, I've given a few prompts, but what you always want to do is apply as many log rules as you can, whether that's the addition rule, subtraction rule, or this power rule, and then go on to solve the equation. So here, because we're adding two different logarithms, we can multiply what's inside of the two logarithms, keeping the base the same. So we can say that's log base 3 of x times 4, or 4x, is all equal to 2. From here, you can use this template. This template tells you that the base moves forward, what's on the right side becomes a power, and that all becomes equal to what's inside of the logarithm. So let's apply that. What's on the base comes forward, what's on the right side becomes a power, and that's all equal to what's inside of the logarithm, 4x. 3 squared is 9, is equal to 4x. Divide both sides by 4, so x is 9 over 4. And that's it. That's two different ways of solving logarithms. Hopefully those made sense. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I've linked my email in the description in case you have any tutoring inquiries. So, yeah, reach out if you'd like.